Hello, hello my nasties. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Another busy day, of course. When are they not? Although today's going to be a little bit more mellow because I am freaking out a little bit because, listen, I'm not a queen freak necessarily. A little bit of a germaphobe, yes. But as an artist, I'm okay with creating controlled chaos, right? On my workstations. But in my apartment, I can't handle it. Now I can't handle, I can deal with this. You see, do you see there's the resident gremlin? He rearranges my pillows on the daily. That's chaos that I have to live with because of the gremlin. He's allowed to, to, to destroy my pillows if he'd like. But um, I need to vacuum, I need to dust. Doing those boring domestic things, knowing that they need to get done, just, I can't, I can't function properly unless all of the chores are complete. So today I'm going to be packaging orders, working on Patreon artwork. I need to run out the door to run some errands, groceries, post office, that kind of thing. And then when I get home, it's clean, clean, clean. And then it is another beautiful, gorgeous, rainy day. Snow has freshly fallen on the mountains around me, so it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful walk. I need to go on a long evening walk, chilly, ooh, chilly evening walk. And, but I, I mean, I'm going to enjoy it though. I'm gonna enjoy it. Palm Springs Pride here, you guys know I love the desert. Although this is, I mean, tropical pride, Palm Springs Pride. I don't know, I mean, we've got the tropical thing going on and I happen to currently live in Palm Springs. So hey, these are, these are, these are doing the most for the loves of my life. I sell these in my boutique, by the way. Speaking of my boutique, I have two big announcements. Well, one big announcement in regards to the boutique and then one general announcement. So I'm, I'm hesitating to insert this in this vlog or not because by the time this vlog is up, well, we'll just talk about it. So announcement number one. In a couple of days, this vlog will already be up, so the artwork will already be available, but in a couple of days, my collection of 80s women, you know, those 80s ladies, those retro fabulous cuties that I've been working on over the course or that I had worked on over the course of 2022 last year, those illustrations are now available for sale. Now, I've decided to stagger the release because I don't want to dump 30 illustrations onto my website all at once. So I will be releasing anywhere from three to five every week or so until all of them are listed. So if you have been waiting, if you've been eyeballing any of those girls, go visit Coco Naughty, follow that Instagram, follow my personal Instagram to keep up to date on updates and just know that those are coming. They are already available. I hope that you guys enjoy them. And moving on to announcement number two, which it correlates with that one. Um, by the time this video is up, now this is the, the announcement that's a little bit up in the air. You know, we're juggling, juggling a little bit because my new coloring book, which is comprised of the women, the illustrations that I just mentioned, my new book, Aesthetica Synthetica, may or may not be available by the time this vlog is up. If it is not available, it will be available very soon. If it is, well, you already know because you may have already watched the flip through. So that coloring book is now released. I'm so excited. I think it's one of the coolest books that I've made. And I mean, it, it became its own monster, right? Because it wasn't even supposed to happen, to be honest. I was creating those illustrations and those illustrations resulted in my wanting to compile them into a book. And then that whole idea became, you know what? I'm at the point where I have quit my job. So I wanna open a boutique and I wanna sell artwork. What kind of artwork? Well, I'm gonna put these ladies on there because everything that's going to be for sale on my boutique is going to be inspired by my passions for vintage, retro aesthetics, the 70s, the 80s, fashion, bright color, gaudy decor. Hello, hello. <laughs> so Aesthetica Synthetica as a whole became its own big, fat, juicy, sparkly monster and I'm in love with it. We've got artwork, we've got coloring books, you know, we've got the whole Coco Naughty boutique aesthetic, which I'm actually wearing some Coco Naughty today. I have these for sale in the boutique. So, I mean, look at my nails. Look at these neon 80s Miami Vice colors. Well, they're not pastel, they're more neon. So they're more like Los Angeles than Miami Vice, but we've got the whole, 
you know, the tropical desert vampire 80s disco lover thing going on today. I'm telling you all, I am just, I am just a melange of all sorts of things, right? But we love it. So to end this intro, packaging orders, Patreon work, then I'm going to run out and do some chores. I'm going to come back and deal with chores, go for a long evening walk, and then I'm going to close out the evening by working on Coco Naughty. It's going to be a good day. I am just, I am so in love with that boutique, you all. Sourcing for vintage, photographing, writing the descriptions, coming up with outfit ideas and styling tips. It's just I have a good feeling that my Coco Naughty channel is going to turn into something that's highly fashion centric. This year, I've already started by uploading, I uploaded one video the other day, which is, I won't talk too much about Coco Naughty here on this channel, but I mean, it's a huge part of my life, so I am going to mention it, but I uploaded a video that was my top five pieces of vintage that I added to the boutique in the month of January. That's over on the Coco Naughty channel. And I had, it's a rusty video. I did a lot of like chatter and it was, you know, my first time doing that sort of video. So it's a little rough around the edges, but I mean, when am I not rough around the edges? Sharp around the edges really. But it was a rough video, but it was a fun one to make. And I just on a whim decided to film it. And I thought, you know what, this was fun. This was fun, chat, like just chatting, just chatting about clothes and sharing clothes. and. If you're into funky fashion, even if you don't wear it, but you like to look at it, or if you are looking for inspiration for your own artwork or for your coloring, go check out that channel and check out my boutique, by the way. You might get some aesthetic inspiration there as well. Even if you're not into wearing the shoulder pads and the sequins, you might enjoy, you, you just might get a kick looking at it. So with that being said, I have a lot of work to do today. I am just in a great mood today. It is deliciously cold today. We have fresh snow around the mountains here, so it is looking absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for my evening walk. I have a lot to do today, a lot to think about. I mentioned a lot here. You know, I always dump a lot of information here, but there's so much more going on in here that I need to sort through and just parse and deal with because your girl has a lot of other projects in the works, right? So it's just a matter of breathing, getting everything done, focusing, and just enjoying myself because... It's a lot of work. Everything that I do is a lot of work. It's obsessive work. It's a lot of work. It's some of it very expensive work, but it's nice seeing all of my, my passions come to fruition physically. We started Coco Naughty and she's doing wonderfully. You guys are digging it. Thank you. The feedback has been great. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But without further ado, please, there has been so much ado in this video. <laughs> Let's get to work. You all, I have committed some YouTube trickery. So initially I was planning on packaging these orders the day that I filmed the intro and outro for the vlog. And then I decided, you know what? No, 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 because I checked my tracking information and I was waiting for my Golden Ralphs. I wanted to ensure that this batch of orders, because they all came from Coco Naughty, I wanted to make sure that I had those Golden Ralph stickers. You will see this in a while. So yes, you're gonna notice a nail polish change. And on this particular occasion, I wasn't crazy. I didn't change my nail polish twice in one day as I tend to do sometimes. But uh, yeah, anyway, this that you were seeing on screen, special shout out to my Patreon patrons. Uh, I mean, all of my patrons are wonderful, but my Patreon patrons at the Color Fiend tier, those are the ones that uh, sign up under the Color Fiend tier for the coloring page perks. I asked them to toss some suggestions out for me because I'm going to be putting together a new package of uh, coloring pages for my patrons and a few of them chimed in and I took their inspiration to heart. So I wanted to thank them in a video because this gal that you see right here was inspired specifically by one of my patrons who requested that I do something with roller skates. I have been on and off trying to teach myself how to roller skate for about a year now and I've gotten marginally better, but I'm not great at it. That is one of my goals is to become an excellent, excellent roller disco lady. So we'll see. I just, listen y'all, I live in the desert and anytime I go outside to try to roller skate, the risks are treacherous. I don't mind falling on gravel. I don't mind falling and embarrassing myself in front of people because they're roller skates. Everybody eats it, right? 
but there are cactus there are spines there are sharp plants everywhere and let me tell you yes yes your girl has fallen on cactus and it was not pleasant so <laughs> anyways thank you to my patrons for their suggestions and i hope that you guys enjoy these peeks at the line art in my vlogs let's get on with it Are we ready for this cuteness? The little holographic golden Ralphs have arrived. I've not decided if I'm going to put them on the outside of the envelopes as well, but they are definitely going inside as freebies. Oops, I keep smacking you guys, I'm sorry. But absolutely freebies for Coco Naughty orders. Look how cute they are. <gasps> They are so cute. They are about one inch, teeny tiny little golden Ralph. So cute. On the, cho the chopping block is the wonderful, delicious, delectable James. James has ordered a copy of Hot Tropics coloring book. So let's see. <clears throat> because this book is less spooky, we are going to get a little thank you tiki out to James. I've made thank you tikis for Coco Naughty, so yay! It's supposed to be reserved for this style of artwork, you know, my tiki art. But because, she, hello, she's drinking out of a tiki glass, it makes sense. So, business card sticker. And then let's wrap her up. Thank you, James, for your order. I hope that you enjoy Ms. Hot Tropics. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to finally be able to have, uh, oh my gosh. I pushed my friggin' ugh, gold stickers all the way over here. I'm excited to finally have signed coloring books available on my own website it's just such a cool feeling it's such a cool feeling so <sighs> just having my own store guys it's something else it's something else james thank you once again james i hope that you enjoy boozing it up with these lovely ladies on, on the guillotine is an order for the always fantastical Helen. Helen, thank you so much. Helen picked up one of each of my new prints. She picked up Ms. Charlotte. Why did I almost forget her name? I'm sorry, Charlotte. She picked up a Charlotte, a Lulu, and a Nanette. And she also picked up the coordinating stickers. There's Lulu, there's Charlotte, and there is Nanette. Yes, I did this on purpose. If you see the um, Charlotte is exactly the same, but uh, Lulu, I wanted to change her skin tone to this minty color, and then Nanette, I gave her this yellow green kind of skin color. I don't know. It just, it felt right. I do what I do gently. Shush, shush, shush. You know, I'm a victim to my own whims, so <laughs> we did the thing. So anyway. Thank you, Helen, for this precious, wonderful, lovely order. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. These are available now on Coconati, obviously. This was the first print and sticker release that I released on that website, not on Etsy. So that felt very, very good. And then let's see, how are we going to package these? Am I gonna put the stickers in their own little protector? I should. Oh my gosh, these seals. Okay, so I have, I'm struggling off camera with these. I have these clear seals that I use to secure the board for prints and I can never, I can see them in certain lighting because they're glossy, but peeling them off is a bitch. Even with these talons, you would think they would facilitate the peeling of things, but no, sometimes they're actually an entrance, if I'm being honest. 
you wouldn't know it by the agility I have when wearing them. You know, I can type like a fiend with these on. Seriously, it's like, it's insane. I don't know how I do it, but your girl does it somehow. Let's go ahead and stick these in there. And a thank you bat. Those girls are not overtly spooky, but I mean, it's my artwork. They're gonna get a thank you bat. Thank you, Bat. And coconut. Oh my god. You know, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to um perform very minor, minor surgery on oh no. I oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to perform minor surgery on the book envelopes that I just packaged because, ah, shoot. Well, you know what? Oh, I think I can still unstick the sticker. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me do that first. <laughs> because the longer you let the glue sit on the envelope, the stronger it gets. So hold on. Hold okay. On. <laughs> Minor surgery has been performed on the envelopes because the Golden Ralphs came in, you guys. The Golden Ralph freebie stickers for Coco Naughty. Look how cute they are. Oh my God. Okay, that was that was uh, a bit anticlimactic there. Well, I'm not gonna attempt it again. But look, look, look how precious. Oh my God, so, so, so precious. They came out beautifully. These, just these little tiny little Gold Ralph coins, right, they look like little coins. They are so cute. So these are going out to everyone in every order as well. So there's a little a thank you, Ralph. Just just a little cutesy boops and little Ralph to say thanks for your order. There's, oh my gosh, how cute. Ralph is our guy. Ralph is our guy. Okay. Should I package this inside? No, nah, it's okay. We'll just leave it like this. I think that's everything, right? We got the... Oh my gosh, she's all discombobulated today. Okay, the thank you bat, the Coco Naughty card, the Coco Naughty sticker, and the thank you bat. So cute. Thank you, Helen. I hope that you enjoy this order. By the way, as I'm finishing up packaging this order, I just wanted to say an extra big thank you to Helen because I know that she, I mean, not only is she subscribed to this channel, she's incredible, she's a Patreon patron, she's all of the good things, but she has also subscribed to my um, my Coco Naughty YouTube channel, which is still rusty and new, and I'm figuring out what I would like to do to it, but it is going to be fashion-centric, and I will toss in art as well. But she checked it out, and she she purchases my artwork and my stickers, but she understands what I'm doing with the clothing over at Coco Naughty, and she enjoys watching it and looking at it and... She digs it, and Helen, I dig you for digging it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support on every front. You are amazing. Next on the chopping block is an order for, who's up, who's up? Patty, 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 let's get your order ready to go. It looks like it's a sticker order, so let's do a couple of these quarter sheet. Oh no, I don't have quarter sheets cut. Or right, one second, I got to I got to get these sheets cut. So Patty has the beautiful Rococo stickers. She has ordered a Charlotte and a Lulu. Look at those bitches. Look at these fabulous bitches. Look at their faces. They're just like <sighs> We just we just can't be bothered. <laughs> I love them so much. This is such a fun design. These pieces, by the way, the line art is in Rococo Agogo. If you are just itching to color them in, if you have that book, they are in that book. Alrighty. Got this tissue paper. I love the black and the tangerine, but the company that I purchased this because I, I usually purchase tissue paper from two different suppliers and then when one of them is out of a certain color that I need then I will order from the other one but they changed the um, 
the uh, paper. And I, I, I know some people might prefer it because it's much softer now. It almost feels like a very thin fabric, but I don't, I don't like it. I feel like the, the black is not black enough and it's too soft almost. I don't know. I'm picky and weird that way, even over tissue paper, but it's my brand, damn it. Of course I'm gonna care. All right, my coffee pot finished gurgling a while ago so I need to uh, I need to go get myself a little bit of coffee I hadn't had coffee in three days and which is fine I don't miss it but then when I want it I want it so <laughs> okay uh, let's do a pink envelope and yeah, let's see thank you card stickers and so this is where I'm running into that issue with the thank you bats. Like, do I send out thank you bats for orders that are not spooky weird art? I don't know. I have them available, so I'm gonna. So let's go ahead and grab <laughs> my my Ralph, my fabulous golden Ralph. Let's get you all set up in here. Nice, cute little order for Patty. I haven't decided if I want to do black envelopes for this brand because my issue is that I'm going to have to hand write the envelopes, which is fine, but then I'm going to have to use a gold pen specifically, and then what happens if I run out of the gold pen, and then it's going to be an issue. So pink is definitely a cocoa naughty color, as you can tell. So I think we're going to stick with the pink. It matches. There you go. Patty, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you enjoy those fresh new stickers. And I'm going to take a quick break to go get myself my coffee. Coffee has been acquired. It's just a plain, it's an unsweetened black coffee that has been flavored creme brulee. It's a vanilla creme, vanilla creme brulee flavored, but it's unsweetened, but it's black. So it's... <laughs> It's flavored coffee with just a little bit of almond milk. Cafe au lait without the fancy au lait part. This order is for the fabulous, incredible... You know which fabulous monster this is, right? This is for Sabine, Sabine, Sabine. <laughs> Son of a... Never, never. I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop with that. I'm never going to stop. Today I thought control yourself when I saw the name in the in the order, the order list. It's like, you know what? Just just pick one. Pick one iteration of the name. No, couldn't do it. But this lovely beast ordered one of each of my Rococo prints and then also the stickers. So we've got Lulu, Nanette, Charlotte, the stickers as well, and also a Deco Dolls sticker. So let's get these little babies all packaged up. I'm running into now a, a fresh dilemma, which is, I mentioned it in a previous vlog, in which I said, well, what am I going to do when it comes to my packaging orders? Because they are technically Coco Naughty. Should I package these orders and film them for vlogs over on Coco Naughty? Or should I continue sharing them on my channel? And for the time being, because my, my store is so new and... You know, I it's just a new store. Nobody knows who I am. I have about 100 followers on Instagram. I have about 60 subscribers on the channel here on YouTube. Go subscribe, by the way, if you're interested in clothes and all of this kookiness. Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to force or beg anybody to do anything they don't want to do. If you want to check it out, check it out. And please, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. So uh, I'm thinking that uh, vlogs are not going to happen yet on that channel, at least not with any weekly frequency the way that they do here. I generally upload uh, one vlog a week or every two weeks or something like that here. 
And so what I'm going to do is I may keep these clips and just insert them and do a voiceover over on that channel and then I will talk through the packaging portion for clothing. I do actually have a clothing order that needs to go out. So I will film that, chit chat about it, and put it into the vlog maybe over on Coconati. I don't know. It's Again, it's these growing pains. We don't know exactly how I'm going to go about things yet. It's we're still we're still figuring things out. So be patient with me while I figure out my new life. Oh my gosh. Sticker. Okay. <laughs> Coco Naughty. Look how cute. <laughs> you guys, I can't get over it. Look at that. Ralph is just such a perfect fit for this world. This tropical, spooky, 80s, retro, vintage life that we have going on over here. He's just, he's so good. He's so good. And let's get a thank you back in here as well. Maybe I should start doing the thank you bats on black paper. The, the problem is I have so much purple paper right now. If you were watching my vlogs months ago, I purchased a huge pack of it. Not a huge pack, but it's a package with large sheets. So, ah, uh, the dilemmas, you all. The dilemmas, the dilemmas, but they're dilemmas that are wonderful to have because you guys know that for months, and I'm not out of the woods yet, but for months, my life was nothing, nothing but a cesspit. It was one of those situations where for months, I just kept getting, I, I would get up and I would get slammed back down to the ground. I would get up and I would get slammed back down to the ground. And then the grand finale was waking up early this year, the very first day of the year, just completely incapacitated, right? And that was a, a very long, lingering illness, but we're okay now. Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm not completely out of the woods yet with, with everything that's going on, but, damn it, I feel like the worst might, you know what, I don't even want to say it, I don't even want to put it out into the universe because... We no. Let's just not. Let's just let's just keep our head down and keep it moving, okay? God, because I'm telling you, my life. I have good highs, right? I have good highs, but the lows are so 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 low. I never have a high that is so high that I just feel so incredibly wonderful, right? Because I just know that just around the corner, something crappy is going to happen, and I hate being such a doomsday prophet, right? But it's just it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. But it's it's fine. You know what? The thing is, is listen to me. I don't let it get me down. I don't. How I have developed such a thick skin, I don't know. I don't know. I truly have no idea. Lovely. This ring, it's not fitting me today. When it's too cold, I shrink too much. And then my ring, I hate when my rings do this. I can't stand it when I see people wearing solitaire rings and they're off to the side. Like, what are you doing? You spent all that much money on a solitaire, you know, diamond wedding rings, and they're all to the side. This clearly is an abomination. It's not a diamond wedding ring. It's a vintage ring though. It is vintage. It's a gold ring with a quartz crystal. So it, not a diamond, hello, clearly. But yeah, it's uh, it, this is my solitaire, okay? <laughs> this is a giant solitaire for a giant solitary monster. Wow, the tangents are real today. Sabine, 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 thank you, you incredible individual, for continuing to support my little, my little adventures, we'll call them. It truly means the world to me. Without support from people like you, I wouldn't be here. And that is not an overstatement, okay? If anything, that's an understatement. If people weren't interested in my shenanigans, truly, I wouldn't be here. I just, I wouldn't. And 
And last, but certainly not least, everybody, roll out our sparkly black carpet for, our, what, what color is our carpet? Do we have, you know what? On Planet Coco Naughty, I think our carpet should be, should it be gold carpet? Should it be sparkly orange carpet? Should it be sparkly black carpet? What color is our carpet? I don't want pink. People have done pink carpets before, which I like, they're cute, but no, Coco Naughty, no. <gasps> I don't know. Roll out the carpet for Jasmine because she's ordered four fabulous ladies. She's ordered Twins of Charlotte. She's ordered Lulu and Nanette. You guys, what color is our carpet? What color is our carpet? So when we throw our funky disco 80s parties on Planet Coco Naughty, what the hell color is our carpet gonna be? Because I can't have you guys showing up, just walking up the door, right? We need to have a carpet. Um, I don't know, it's gotta be orange, like sparkly orange. Oh, it's gotta be sparkly black. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's uh that's a tough one. How about sparkly orange with fun, glittery black step and repeats? You know the backdrops where people take all the photos when they enter a party. I don't know. The the stupid things that I occupy myself thinking about. Ugh. Because there was a time, there was a time pre-pandemic when I would plan parties and it was amazing. You know what's crazy is that I enjoyed the party planning and the execution more than I did actually being at said parties that I would plan. I mean, is that a shocker to any of you? I doubt it because you know how I am. All right. So Nanette, Charlotte, and Ms. Lulu are packed snugly in their little sleeve and ready to go. And then after this, I have a full day today, so I'm not going to sit down as soon as I finish this and package the, um, or rather print the shipping labels. I think I'm gonna save that for the end of the evening when it's time for me to wind down. My last bit of work today is going to be packaging, or rather printing the shipping labels for these and scheduling a post office pickup. Let's get a Coconutty card sticker. Oh my gosh, my stickers are way over here in a box and I have to reach like 50 feet in that direction to grab it. Card, sticker, thank you bat. And of course, the golden rock. Ooh, I said, black paper with a gold bat or we can do orange paper with a black glittery bat <gasps> Ooh, we might have to change things you guys but in any case Jasmine darling your order is good to go thank you so much and thank you to everyone who has placed an order with Coco Naughty everyone who has subscribed to that channel everyone who has followed that Instagram truly you all have no idea what it means to me, I know you hear that all the time from other YouTubers, but think about it. You guys have been with me for a while. You know how freaking hard I work. You know how much of myself I put into this. And clearly, I've lived in the same one-bedroom apartment for years since I started this, so you can tell that I'm not doing this for the money, right? I'm doing this because this is truly my passion. Yes, obviously, I hope to be more secure someday, but I'm doing this for the love of it 
I'm doing it because of the feedback that I receive and this is what I need to be doing. I need to be a creative monster. For the longest time, I stifled it and that was a huge mistake. So knowing that now I'm taking huge risks in my life, pursuing what it is that I need to be doing, which is making fun, creative things for everyone else to enjoy. And yeah, it's just great. So thank you once again. If you sat through this, I appreciate it. Let's get on with the vlog. Another Patreon shout out. Again, this is one of the new pages that I'm going to be uh, uploading and sending out to patrons at the Color Fiend tier. One of my lovely patrons <laughs> requested. Now, th see, this one is the first one, the roller skates and the disco. Obviously, that's all me, right? But this one here is, again, inspired by the 70s, as you can tell by her fashion. She's got the giant hat, the big hair. She's got wooden platforms on. Lots of stars. The stars in particular, well, it's the 70s and the stars. One of my patrons requested that I do something inspired by a celebrity from the 70s or 80s, and one name that she tossed out was Bootsy Collins. If you guys don't know who Bootsy Collins is, he's known for outrageous, outrageous fashion. Like tacky, tacky, tacky. Looks like he walked out of Party City. Like he rolled around in all the glitter at Michael's in Party City put on all of the crap that they sell, walked out the door. He is incredible. So she's a little bit pared down. She's not quite as Bootsy Collins as Mr. Bootsy Collins himself, but listen, nobody can compare with the Bootsy. So that th this, is a, um, this is a shout out to you who recommended Bootsy Collins. I don't wanna throw out names here because I don't know if that's appropriate because Patreon is private and I know that some of my patrons prefer to be silent um, on YouTube and on Instagram and they would rather just keep our communication uh, a little bit more private over on Patreon. So I, I hope you guys don't get upset for not mentioning names here. I mean, your names are at the end. Those who have given me permission, I put you in the color fiend, uh, the end screens uh, of my videos. So thank you. But uh, anyway, I hope that you enjoy this 70s inspired gal. This, I think, is this gonna be the end of the vlog? You know, this might be the end of the vlog, so thank you, actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna splice in the outro. Never mind, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this illustration. to the end of the vlog it is not the end of my day I still have lots to do but this is where I'm going to film the intro and just end all of the art stuff so thank you all for joining me for yet another vlog to my patreon patrons thank you so much for being so patient with me with the new coloring pages I mean technically I did say that I was going to have them ready by the by early February so we're, we're still on track with that um, I fell off of my Patreon a little bit in December and January uh, for sundry reasons. I still uploaded my my exclusive line art, but I was kind of quiet and I didn't really do a whole lot of announcements uh, with Patreon, but I will be trying to get more interactive on my Patreon this year because the more, the busier that I get doing external things, the more I like having my own little little cocoon with people to hang around with, right? And to share what I'm up to with. It just feels more private and just, I don't know. You know me, a little weird insular loner. I don't like to say introverted necessarily, but insular, you know what I mean? I like to I like to keep everything nice and close and confined because I'm just so, pa Patreon, we'll just put it this way. Patreon is my place that doesn't feel like it's chaos <laughs> 24 hours a day, so. Anyways, that being said, thank you to everyone. If you are a subscriber here on YouTube, if you are a follower over on Instagram, thank you so much. If you are subscribed to Coco Naughty and if you follow that Instagram, extra big fat juicy thank yous because supporting my projects in whatever way you can means the absolute world to me. It, you know, it, it quite literally lights the fire under my ass to continue doing it, right? If nobody was looking, if nobody was enjoying, would I be doing it? No. Probably not. I would probably do it, but just keep it offline. You know what I mean? So thank you, everyone, in whatever capacity you are here. I hope that you enjoy the new book. I hope you're looking forward to color and chats in that book and to my next vlog or video, whatever it's going to be. I don't know. With that being said, talk.
I just want to go take my walk. Can you tell I'm happy? I'm just giddy and excited to get out there in the drizzly desert. So I will see you nasties in the next one. Be bad, be good. I don't give a damn what. Um, <laughs> pardon the abrupt, weird, incomplete outro, but my footage, something happened. It was screwy. I, it was just technical things, technical issues. I'm telling you, like I told you guys earlier, your girl has been going through it for a while. We are not out of the woods yet. I just I just happen to be a jovial monster, so you would never know. I mean, let somebody drop a house on this witch, right? I would probably still be smiling and be on YouTube saying, hey, guys, because that's just me, you know. It could be raining poo pellets, and I'm still going to look on the bright side, all right? As long as it doesn't get on my sequins because, ew. Anyways, sorry for the funky outro, but you know what? In watching this video back, I told myself, with everything crappy going on, you know, in, in the whirlpool of crap that I have been <laughs> trying to get a grip on uh, for the past few months, I'm going to set a couple goals for myself. So last year I told myself I need this year to purchase a label printer to make my life easier when I'm packaging orders, right? Okay, so I did that for me. Now I'm going to do something for both me and for those of you who have to sit through my messy videos. I am going to make it a goal this year to purchase a new freaking phone because while I'm sitting here editing the video, I noticed how shitty my coloring is in my order packaging portion of the video because my old ass phone does not, um, it's horrible with color and with lighting. So you guys, you guys have been putting up with the same phone for years now, right? I think it's time. It, the phone is a dinosaur. It is what, five years old? So your girl needs to get a new phone, not just for me. I mean, yes, it's primarily for me, duh, but also for those of you who've been watching and sitting through the crappy quality of my videos, uh, you know, my color in chats and when I film my vlogs. But anyway, I'm, I'm talking too much, but I'm just putting it out in the universe because I need to hold myself accountable. At some point this year, I need to get a new phone. We're gonna do it. All right, now I'm gonna insert the proper outro. Be bad, be good, I don't give a damn which. Just make sure you come back in one piece. Take a look down below. Everything you need to know will always be down below and I will see you in the next one, bye.